Hello guys, welcome to a new tutorial. Today we will make this lazy body turn using our armature and bones only. No interpolation, no drawing. But before we start, I want to show you my new head turn, my new addition to our uh, human grease pencil rig that we worked on during uh, a series. So we had uh, good legs and uh, good bendy bones and a powerful mouth rig and now it will come with a simple uh, head turn. So stay tuned for the tutorial to have at last the ultimate grease pencil rig that you can uh, reuse on any character and that doesn't use any lattices so let's start with our tutorial we have this uh, simple birdie bird with its simple rig this is a rigify rig you can see its structure here if you go let's go to pose mode so you see you have the spine here with bendy bones we have uh, a wing with bendy bones we have two bones to control the beak and if you choose this layer here you see that we have ik bones here like this and we have the spine that we can control like this and the wings that we can control like this the beaks that we can control with R on the keyboard and the eye that we can move with G or with R we can we have a driver for the blink this bird I will give it for you for free so check the description and download it from Gumroad so let's start first we select these four bones we select the eye bone the beak bones and the wing bone here we are in frame one we hit i to create a keyframe for location and scale because we will change the location and scale of these four bones so we click this guy here location and scale and then we go to frame 10 and now we do g x and we move this guys like this so already you see the illusion of movement it's like the bird is moving its head to look at us you see so move them here we test our animation it works it's nice but there's something we can add and it is a resize so we select this bone we hit s and then x to resize it on the x-axis only and we resize it like this and we can do the same for the big bones let's do it individually so sx resize it again sx resize the sky and then for the wing and then again sx and like this let's move them further i think we can move them just be careful of this point here so gx don't go outside the body put it here very nice so now we have this movement isn't this wonderful and now what we should do is go to object mode by hitting this guy here and we are in frame 10 we want to flip the body to the other part to complete the rotation 180 degrees so in frame 10 we hit i and rotation to create a keyframe you see it was created here for the object transform Let's copy this frame to frame 1. This may save us from some problems later. And then go to frame 11 by hitting the right arrow on your keyboard. So frame 11. And here we hit R to rotate and then Z to rotate on the Z axis and then 180 degrees to flip the bird. Okay, so the bird flips. And he will continue his rotation now we select the uh, frames in frame one for the bones only and not the, the object here only these four and then we hit shift t and copy them to frame 20 like this now we change this from 220 to 20 to play our loop and see how it goes so we have our first 180 degrees rotation here we have this harsh turn here but as i said in the beginning this is a lazy tutorial and a quick animation as you can see it took us very little time to make this 180 degrees 
rotation. The problem with Blender and Regen in Blender is that we don't have the equivalent of shape keys in Grease Pencil or in Moho what is called Smart Bones. It's like interpolation in draw mode that you can control with bones. So for example we have the head here and this hair here. We can animate it to make this animation here smooth and then control it with the bone. So in Moho you can do that. You can draw shape and then in another frame you change that shape and in between there is an interpolation and that interpolation you can control with a bone I hope something can be done about that anyways let's finish our animation what we want to add is a second wing that shows here when the bird turns to look at us we want to duplicate our rig here we click on the bird here collection and hit duplicate collection we are in frame one this is our first bird let's hide this widget collection let's select our uh, character here and let's keep only the wing you can delete these layers or only hide them so we will just hide them I couldn't hide the eye because there's a driver controlling the blink so to be able to hide it just delete the driver and then hide the eye let's unhide the, our first bird let's go let's hit 7 on the keyboard select our rig here and put the wing behind the bird so G Y and move it like this nice and now test this animation you see that it's coming back to get merged with the bird so let's expand here the object transform and look for the location location y and i think i will just delete this keyframe here x d and now it should stay in place very nice so we hit one again let's hide our other bird and we will flip our wing r z 180 degrees to flip it and now we have, you see we have this animation, it shouldn't be like this, where is the rotation, yes the Z rotation should be the same here and here, so let's just duplicate here this to here, or no, I think we just flip places of this and this, so like this and then like this, and I think we will need the yes nice now let's unhide our first bird and let's go to frame 10 and then hit G X and move our wing here so now we have this animation and then we go here and again G X and make the wing show here like this and then like this and then we want it to go behind and it went by itself without the need of our intervention so now if we play the loop again it's at zero we have a decent 180 degrees rotation what we want to do now is to complete it to go 360 so again to the bird collection and we duplicate our collection let's hide this, co this collection of widgets again Let's hide our bird. Let's select our second rig here. Let's hide this one too. I think I'm gonna move these guys to frame 21. Now we go first to pose mode and then you select everything. And then, yes. So we select everything with A and move everything here to frame 21. And let's go again to object mode I want this bird to be away from the camera in frame 20 and come in frame 21 so we go back to frame 20 and we hit G X and move it outside and far away as far as you can so that it doesn't show accidentally let's hide this guy and unhide our first bird let's select this rig and in frame 21 we want this bird to go away I think first in frame 20 we want to hit I and create a keyframe for location and then in frame 21 move with the right arrow in the keyboard and then hit G Z and move it far away from the camera so what if we and hit our second bird mm, it's not working for some reason why 
Okay, so let's select our second rig. So where is our location here? The X location. Yes, I think this guy should be duplicated to put here. And now we have this flip here. So when this bird goes, the second bird comes to replace it. And we have the illusion that it's the same bird. Very nice, but we need to flip this guy. I think we need to just mess with the rotation, with the Z rotation here. So this guy, move it with G, should be here, and this guy should be here. So move it here, very nice, and now we duplicate it to put it here. So we replaced these uh, Z rotation keyframes. So now from here, shift D, and put it here. Okay, so like this, and here, and it moves, and voila. We have this simple animation here, but of course this is not what we want. This is like uh, the guy is going 180 degrees and then coming back. So what will we change in this animation? We select our shape here in our second bird and then we go to, to the object data properties and we want this beak to be behind the body. So beak low behind the body and then beak up also behind the body so now we have this animation here and what we want to change is just the position of the wing and the eye so we select our rig again and we go to pose mode and we go to frame 30 and then we select this bone and the eye bone gx and we move them here the zoom in again gx and move them to the edge and now we have a flip and now they come back so we can hide the third one and that is our wing so our wing works fine here in the first part but in the second part we want our wing to show here we go to object mode so here is the rig of our wing the wing is here hidden behind let's hit i and the rotation in frame 20 and then we we'll go to frame 21 and then hit r to rotate z 180 degrees go to frame 30 and move the sky with g x to here and then we we'll go to frame 20 31 and we flip the wing again so r z again 180 degrees and then we we'll move it with g x to here so here our wing comes and then here and then it should disappear here so to frame 40 and again gx and hide it behind so now we have this loop there's just one thing i forgot to do in the second rig here you see this animation when it goes from the first bird to the second bird and this uh, beak got gets hidden we want a little animation here for the eye and the wing just a little one so let's select our rig here and in frame 21 be careful because in frame 20 this is not bird 2 this is the first bird so in frame 21 you select our rig it is selected here we go to pose mode we select these two bones the wing and then shift you select the eye and then g x and move them just a little bit so now if we go between frame 20 and 21 we have the list, this little animation for the wing and we have a smoother animation and this is it boys congratulations 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 so what if we wanted to add some animation to this bird like a little dance for example or something so we could use this panel here the nonlinear animation panel to uh, push down so these actions here and add an action for another animation so let's name this action so first we are on the first rig so we name this bird one turn let's go to the second bird bird two turn and for the wing name this wing turn okay we give them names so that we don't get confused later i use the push button to push the action down we do the same here so push it here 
and we do the same here so push this action down and now we can add uh, other actions so we are with the bird one here in frame one and we can add another animation so we go to our action editor here we select our rake let's hide the other two birds so they don't confuse us and let's go to pose mode and we want to add a little jump so let's select the spawn let's be careful not to add more uh, keyframes than you need because sometimes they will create conflicts where we add a second action here so here we hit I to add a keyframe for location because we want to move the spawn up and down. We go a little further. Um, let's go back to frame one and just disable the other action here by hitting this guy so that we can animate without any interference to frame five. Hit G Z to move the sky a little bit like this to prepare for the jump. And here we want to, the, the feet to start to move, the beak to open, to start to open and the wing to start to go up. So that's why, and this guy wanted to bend the spine too. Here we will add a keyframe for rotation, so I rotation for the beaks too. We want rotation and for the sky too. So let's take these three bones. I rotation we created keyframes for all of them here and then for these guys we will need them to go up and to turn down so we need rotation and location so this one okay and then we will go up with this guy here so G Z go up we select these two guys they go up to G Z and then we rotate the sky a little bit here and a little bit here and then we rotate the sky like this and we rotate the swing like this and then we open the peak very nice so now we have this animation it prepares for the jump and then goes up and then it should go down here so let's select everything with A and just duplicate these frames here. Nice. Maybe make the going down quicker. So maybe here. And then again here. We want this guy to go back to its initial position. So from here we copy it or we duplicate it using Shift D and very nice so we have this jumpy jump there's a glitch here and I think it's it has something to do with the interpolation mode so for the feet I guess let's just change it for everything the interpolation mode from I think it is busier by default so we change it to linear let's test it again yes it works fine very nice so this is our new action and uh, this action we will name it bird jump okay enter and now we can push it down and we can activate the other action and test it here so what happens is that you can see that the eye moves but the wing and the beak don't move and that is caused by a conflict between keyframes here let's select this action here and hit tab in the keyboard so that we can see our keyframes here and select one of the beak bones and then expand it here and go to location you see that also also we only have chosen in our keyframing we only have chosen rotation we still have these keyframes for locations these three keyframes here so if we delete them xt it should now work so left click here to go back to our original view and you see that our um, upper beak was fixed so we can do the same for the wing and for the other beak or there is an easier option that sometimes works and sometimes not so let's hit ctrl z ctrl z again okay we restart our frames left click to go back and now we select our collection and we hit n and 
we change this the blend in from replace to combine and now we test it and it works fine very very nice so this combine feature here sometimes works fine sometimes it doesn't work so when it doesn't work you need to go here and to go to the top sheet in the action blender and check for the keyframes that you need don't need like the location keyframes here and delete them so that there is no conflict between your two actions and now let's go back to uh, object mode and let's side our first bird and go to the second bird select our rig here go to frame one and add the action we created and that is the bird jump here and then we push it down and then we change blend into combine and we do the same let's hide it again and hide the wing select our rig and again add our bird jump push it down select it alone be careful not to select them both and then change the blending again to combine and now we can unhide all our birds and we can check our animation so here we have a nice little jump combined with a full 360 degrees animation <laughs> body turn <laughs> so guys thank you for watching uh, the birdie bird is for download for free if you want to donate of course you can donate well before downloaded the file you can give me a tip for this file or you can get it for free any donation of course is appreciated to support the channel and support uh, future videos thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video peace